but they may not know what an LPU is. So what's the difference there? Jamar? The GPU, the best way to think about it is, so if you contrast a CPU with a GPU, so CPU was the workhorse of all of computing. And when, it, when Jensen started NVIDIA, what he realized was there were specific tasks where a CPU failed quite brilliantly at. And so he's like, well, we're going to make a chip that works in all these failure modes for a CPU. So a CPU is very good at taking one instruction in, acting on it, and then spitting out one, one answer effectively. And so it's a very serial kind of a factory, if you think about the CPU. So if you want to build a factory that can process, instead of one thing at a time, 10 things or 100 things, what is, they had to find a workload that was well-suited, and they found graphics. And what they convinced PC manufacturers back in the day was, look, have the CPU be the brain. It'll do 90% of the work. But for very specific use cases like graphics and video games, you don't want to do serial computation. You want to do parallel computation, and we are the best at that. And it turned out that that was a genius insight. And so the business for many years was gaming and graphics. But what happened about 10 years ago was what we also started to realize was the math that's required and the processing that's required in AI models actually look very similar to how you would process imagery from a game. And so he was allowed to figure out by building this thing called CUDA, which is the compiler that sits on the chip, how he could now go and tell people that wanted to experiment with AI, hey, you know that chip that we had made for graphics? Guess what? It also is amazing at doing all of these very small mathematical calculations that you need for your AI model. And that turned out to be true. So the next leap forward was what Jonathan saw, which was, hold on a second, if you look at the chip itself, that GPU substantially has not changed since 1999 in the way that it thinks about problem solving. It has all this very expensive memory, blah, blah, blah. So he was like, let's just throw all that out the window. We'll make small little brains and we'll connect those little brains together and we'll have this very clever software that schedules it and optimizes it. So basically, take the chip and make it much, much smaller and cheaper and then make many of them and connect them together. That was Jonathan's insight. And it turns out for large language models, that's a huge stroke of luck because it is exactly how LLMs can be hyper-optimized to work. So that's kind of been the evolution from CPU to GPU to now LPU.